So today we're featuring a recent build we completed here at Work Truck West. This is a 2024 F750. This chassis is a 33,000 pound GVW, regular cab with diesel engine, alloy wheels, and then has air ride seat. On this chassis, we installed a 14 foot steel crane body. This body is fully powder coated white. And on the exterior of the body, we included the four LED work lights, your buggy whip, which is tied in with the LED amber beacon, and we installed the Cobra 8000L, which is the long reach crane. It has 27 feet of reach with about 1500 pound lift capacity at full extension. On the back of the body, you'll see our full workbench bumper, full flow through compartments, hydraulic outriggers, both in and out and up and down. On the rear, we also have the six inch vise with vice pockets on both driver and passenger side of the vehicle. So the vice can be on either side for when you're working. And on the passenger side, up top, we installed VMAX Raptor diesel drive multifunction unit. This particular unit is plumbed directly into the fuel source of the chassis, so no need to fill up another fuel tank for operating. And this unit also will be your welder, your compressor, your battery booster, generator, and it has PTO and pump with a hydraulic tank to run your crane and your outriggers off of it. So we can take a closer look at the inside of the cabinets now as well. All right, so taking a closer look at the inside of the cabinets, we'll start on the driver's side. Here you'll see driver's side number one and two, both have matching eight drawer tool chests. The doors are barn style, so you can nicely have both doors open full access to all your tooling. Inside the cabin, we also have a cabinet heater to heat all the cabinets along the driver's side with full venting through all the cabinet walls. We have a plug tied into the inverter of the truck so you can have your battery chargers for your cordless tools located in this cabinet, charge your tools while you're driving to the job site. And inside the cabinets is all LED rope lighting that goes around each compartment through the cabinets. Moving into cabinet number three, adjustable shelving. And that's where we'll also have the 3000 watt inverter located into this cabinet here. And then our over wheels, we'll have a two drawer chest. Inside the bottom drawer, you'll see a full open divider to keep all your bolts and fittings and everything else nicely segregated. And then the rear cabinet, this is our main cabinet where we're gonna have our half by 50 foot aerial. Comes with Arctic line hose. And the air system's all plumbed with three quarter inch line with a bulkhead fitting. So you can put another coupler on there to run an auxiliary three quarter or one inch line off of it. We have our wireless remote for our crane and the hydraulic controls for your left and right outriggers. On the rear of the body, we have a rear access hatch door for your reel to come straight through the back. So there's no need to have the cabinet door open while operating your air system. And with your load space opened up, you have a three piece sliding load space lid that can go all the way back with locking positions in the open position. So you can be uh, driven with them open. Inside the load space, you'll find a pry bar holder, e-tracking going down both sides, along with the chain rack on the back. And then moving over to the passenger side inside of the cabinets. Here you'll find in the rear passenger side cabinet, all the controls for your VMAC Raptor multifunction unit along with welding cable reels and the plugins for the generator portion of the Raptor. And then in the overwheel, two more pull-out drawers, along with bullpen dividers again in the bottom drawer. Cabinet three, adjustable shelving. And number two is our oxyacetylene cabinet, vented in both top and bottom of the cabinet, so it's full to Alberta specifications, along with a hose hanger on the door for your oxyacetylene hose. And in passenger side number one cabinet, we installed another full eight drawer tool chest matching the chest on the driver's side of the cabinet as well. So that's a quick look at our F750 that we recently completed. This unit is in stock. It is available for sale as well. So if you have any other questions on this or any other service trucks you may have a need for, please reach out to us anytime. We'd be happy to help. Thanks.